For a few months, I identified as a mermaid. And let me tell you, bacteria from the ocean is no laughing matter down there. <laughs> wow. Wow. The greatest show on television. Wow. 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 The greatest show on television. <laughs> Wow. Who actually is the recipient of more mockery? Minorities or Walmart shoppers, right? That's right. <laughs> wow. Like, shouldn't they be doing like critical, critical anti Walmart shoppers? Yeah, well. Wow. The Wow Wow Wes. Yo. Uh, I like the way you walk back with authority, dude. <laughs> Gardini walked back like a man on a mission. Welcome back. Oh, man. you got yourself a mic. Yeah, he's tapped in, dude. <laughs> Tap in, dude. Guard dog, you little weasel, Guardfeld, dude. Guardfield, dude. Greg Guardfield, dude. <laughs> Who would have thought that Guard dog was such a fucking climber? <laughs> Who would have? You set up, you're like, well, if you guys do the podcast, I'm going to have to be on camera then. I'm going to have to sit right next to you. And then he secretly sets up his own mic, dude. The Gardini, the Gutfeld. <laughs> Gardini is Gutfeld. You might be the next Greg Gutfeld. <laughs> Yo, what do you think about? Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, Dave Chappelle getting canceled. Give me, a, give us like a five minute monologue. The liberals are trying to cancel another great comedian. <laughs> what are they going to learn, <laughs> dude? You're so silly from the talkies. I'm so silly from the dark chocolate. Although I did take it a little easy. I don't know. There's half a bar missing. You're lucky I didn't take my ashwagandha today. What's that? You'd have been in fucking trouble. What's ashwagandha? Indian ginseng. <laughs> Why would I be in trouble? You should be in trouble, dude. What the fuck is your problem, dude? <laughs> I'm sort of making. We're here with Matt McCusker, <laughs> uh, alleged comedian. <laughs> I sort of make Gunfeld face all day. I actually do most of the time. <laughs> yeah, I have this line. I have that line, you but dude, you do not make Gunfeld. <laughs> I have that line. If I wake up grumpy, dude, I, I'm full gut filled for the whole day. <laughs> if I'm grumpy, dude, I'm Greg Gutfeld. Guard dog, you, you're a bit of a gut filled man. You don't like gut filled? I mean, I don't the fuck's your problem? Why do you like gut filled? I don't care. He's Gutfeld come here. smoke you in a roast. Dude, oh my God. <laughs> Gutfeld's That's, honestly, he's like Tom Myers. He's a roaster? He really is. That's all like, he does. All he does is roast. He's Grinch. He's Grinch looking as well. Yeah, he's got a bit of a Grinch face. Speaking of the Grinch, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of the Grinch, dude. The Grinch is on my mind. The Grinch got rowdy at Helium. Dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> Shout out murder. to Philly's funniest, dude. It's all we'll say about that. It's I don't, a curse, bro. I don't like the yeah the the curse of Philly's <clears throat> funniest. It happens, dude. It fucks you up. You get paranoid. You get in your head, dude. It's too much fame. I thought someone was going to shoot me afterwards. It's too much fame. I thought someone was going to do me like XXX Temptation, dude. I thought someone was going to catch me at the ATM while I was in my Honda Civic and light Dude, I heard you had a tight five and then just light you up. Gutfeld, Gardini. Yo, What are you doing, dude? I'm tight. Whoa. Now he's showing off his Oh, my God, dude. He's like, it's hot in here. I forgot I have abs. Yeah. You have some abs. Let me see those abs. Let me see that belly there. When did you go to high school? My when did he go to high school? Yeah, when did you graduate? definitely graduate high graduated. school like four years ago. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah that was six, five or six years ago. <laughs> did you have sex with girls in high school? Only one. That's nice. That's pretty, that is nice, man. I got a hand job from a dead girl, though. Well, she's dead now. <laughs> Damn, dude. That was, that was She was the best. <laughs> I miss her, so. That was your girl? She was the best. You're in a bathroom. How did she pass away? Don't say, dude. I don't, don't want to talk about. Don't. Well, yeah, you shouldn't have brought that up, dude. You got. Well, you called her a dead girl. That's how you referred to your. True. I'll talk. <laughs> beloved. That's how, he, that's how he processes. There's a girl who passed away. How There's did she a girl pass who away? Passed away. She passed away. Um, in a car accident. Going I had a like feeling, a, dude. Yeah. That's how old babies go. There's several babies I know that passed away and perished in fiery wrecks. Yeah. Sometimes like a whole group of them. <laughs> Seriously, it happens. Everyone can't put all your baby girls. You can't put all the eggs in one basket, dude. You can't man. You can lose a whole car full of babies, dude. <laughs> Especially with that young too. That's like prime. Like, woo! yeah. Sometimes 
having a good time and just you hear the heart beat to the beat of the drum. Doom, doom. Yeah, man. Becky, look out! <laughs> <laughs> and every school, there's always yeah, there's always like one card that gets fucking terminated. Well, she wasn't in school anymore. She was in college. Oh. In- All right, you're really narrowing this thing down. Yeah, yeah dude, Jesus. About- yeah, you shouldn't have probably, done this. Probably, yeah. I'm sorry. You should probably edit everything you set out. I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Matt, what the heck, dude? What's going on, my brother? Yeah, now that I've officially announced that I'm done doing the podcast. True. Now you see that? Quit, yeah. I'm on the Reddit, dude. Oh, dude. I'm watching you oh, boys. Oh, do you really? Oh, I watch everything those little You've snakes You've been going say. on. Somebody, yeah, somebody was trolling the boys and was like, now that it's official that Shane is <laughs> leaving the podcast. <laughs> and dudes were like, fuck him. <laughs> I was just, dude, I was just on a tour bus with Louie reading comments like... <laughs> Yeah, what the hell? You said you were gonna <laughs> I was gut fouled out, dude. Another one, uh, another little guy. Another so alleged comedian talking about me on the Reddit. <laughs> I can you losers get a life? <laughs> dude, I'm not gonna be able to stop laughing if you keep doing gut felt. I'm not gonna you're gonna you're gonna think I'm doing gut felt. <laughs> I have that line, dude. I have the line, dude. You can't. What are you talking about? The line is there. You do not. <laughs> dude, dude, I'm not doing it on purpose. Gutfeld doesn't try to do it. I'm not trying. Gutfeld, they hit him with the news. He, he every morning he's like, I think I lost, and they open the news. And he goes, <laughs> 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 What? <laughs> if he hears the liberals, dude, when the liberals are acting up, Gutfeld's nose just he senses it. I dude. have it. You can see there's a wrinkle there. There's a line there. Is that from when the libs just bother you? Yeah. You fuck your nose just. You get I go this. like this. <laughs> You've seen that face, dude. <laughs> I have gut felt. I have gut felt face. I might, you, know, you should get plastic surgery to eliminate your lib detector, dude. That's what it does. If you get Botox, it's like... Yeah, like, yeah, it was a peaceful protest, and you're just like, really? <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> it seems pretty peaceful. <laughs> dude, I'm so conservative right now. Are you really? I don't know why. That, that fucking Ray well, Epps well, fired me up. Yeah, oh, well, you know what got me? My aunt came over and started talking to me about how we need to, basically, we really need to investigate the Capitol. Yeah. The uprising. So she was the one who got She you. fired me up a little. No, but she was hitting it as like, well, those people all need to be sent to jail. Oh. And I was like, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, then we need to look into BLM is also. also. <laughs> I hadn't seen my aunt in like a year. That was the first thing. And she came and fired you up. She came in because my lady likes watching Fox and Fox News was on. Yeah. And she was she was like, what's this? What is she? What's I guess who's their gut felt? I guess it's Lemon. She was just like, well, I don't no, really know. No, that's Tucker is yeah. Tucker's the fox lemon. Yeah, true. Yeah, Gutfeld Tucker's the goat. Is, yeah, true. Tucker's Gutfeld. fox's goat. Yeah. Lemon is CNN's. That's the goat. Top dude. dude. Yeah. Who's and there? Ma- maybe Maddow. True. Maybe it's that. Who's that? Uh, who's that fat boy on CNN? Yeah, I know that fat boy. You know he looks about? like the fucking killer from season one of True Detective. He looks like the spaghetti monster. You, you know what I mean? He looks crazy. What's that dude's name? That fat boy? Yeah, who's that fat boy on CNN? Who's that fat boy that had to eat his words about, uh, fuck, he, he, he was, was talking shit about Rogies, dude. He got fucking, he had to eat his yeah, fat body fucking bag, crow, dude. dude. He got body Rogies bag. is bodying CNN. Dude, dude he's crushing him. <laughs> he threatened to sue. Yeah. Stelter. Yeah, Stelter's, Stelter's bitch ass. Fat bitch ass, dude. <laughs> He's a he's a fat bull, dude. He's a good bull. Dude. He's a fat boy. There <laughs> That's the most annoying face. He's Stelter's there, Gutfeld, dude. Stelter smiles like a fucking like a kindergartner. <laughs> like he literally smiles like he's learning how to smile. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, true. It's a let me see that pic again. <laughs> it, <laughs> I, get, <laughs> I, I just got my uh Two nephew school pictures today, and dude, it's, they're exactly Stelter. Damn, Stelter used to be a skinny young boy. Was he really? Yeah, he looked, he looked nice. Yeah, that's no, that's the journey of that's a classic. Whoa, Stelter's dealing with something. Look at him back in the day. That's a fiery. He lid, literally dude. looks like a fucking. He's <sighs> he's is he out as gay? I thought that was. A, I thought all CNN hosts were gay. No, yeah, legitimately, I thought like all the male hosts on there were kind of gay. That's why Geraldo left. From that picture, he looks. Isn't that why Geraldo left? He's like, I'm, I'm not gay. I'm Geraldo going to Fox. was like, yeah, dude, I'm straight as fuck. <laughs> I'm going to Fox. I get too much pussy to be on this channel. <laughs> was that the guy who showed his abs? Geraldo? Didn't Geraldo yes, put yes, a sexy he, photo yeah, out? Yeah, he had a sexy photo. Damn, dude. Although I think, 
I don't want to slander my man. I just gut felt it. Did you see that? What'd you tell? I was looking at pictures of Stelter and I went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stelter is a, uh, he's a beefy boy. A lot of libs though go fat. Yeah, a lot of the men do. A lot of lib men get kind of puffy. I like it. I don't, I don't mind that. I like it. I like. They get weak and fat. I like little fat pussies get, talking about the fucking <laughs> news. <laughs> You know what I mean? Just like, can you believe this is going on? <laughs> or when someone brings up a good point in an interview, you're like, well, how so? And then you change the subject immediately. Yeah. I've seen a lot of that. I've been getting fired up on talking points, dude. Which one's that? Uh, or blazing point. What is it called? Crystal ball and songer? Oh, yeah. I don't watch that. I heard it's great. I watch them all the time, dude. Dude, they're the ones who fired me up on the puppies. I started, dude, oh, I was dying. because fucking Fauci's ripping Beagle's throats out? Yes. Yeah, well, he was funding research where they slit Beagle's throats and let flies eat them to death and put their heads in cages. Dude, the pictures are fucked. It's just heads. There are beagles laying there. Their heads in like a mesh screen. I've seen that. And flies just eat them to death. Flies are in there munching their heads? And they slit their throats so they don't have to listen to them bark. What are they researching? I don't know. Like fucking flies. Flies give diseases to dogs. I don't. I think the fly gives people a disease. That fly would like fuck people up. So like, let's let them eat beagles and see if the beagles get the disease. But yeah, they're under fire. Also, too, it's just a good time to uh, thank our sponsors, Eco Health Alliance, for this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Eco Health Alliance definitely didn't cause a pandemic, guys. Yes. Anyone who says they did is a fucking idiot and should, should shut the fuck up. Yes. Also, so. our new sponsor is Taiwanese Beagle <laughs> Torturers. <laughs> Wait, who who's uh, doing the torturing? It's not Taiwan. It's somebody over there. Somebody over there that has... They, NIH funded it. What the hell is going on with Asia and their lack of regard for dog lives? I don't know. They fucking hate them, dude. Did they just ban Korea, Korea banned. South it. Korea banned. Said no more than fucking Monchin. Yeah, dude. Everyone's fucking. And then everybody at us. in Korea went like this. Gregor got the field out of There's no gut felts. They can't. Uh, we're not allowed to eat dogs anymore here. <laughs> well, congratulations. We live in communism. <laughs> Thanks, Joe Biden. Yeah, I don't even know how he talks. So I felt a, exactly like that. Yeah, I just like anytime somebody's in a suit and cool sneakers. Yeah, I fucked heavy with that. I immediately yeah. know to take them seriously. For sure, it's Ellen. It's, say, I'm with very, it's very lesbian. Ellen rocks that pretty hard. Yeah, true. It is Ellen, a thick bitch lesbian outfit. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I mean, that's like you know, if you're getting because you can't wear like a. If you're a lesbian, you can't go like full like Forbes 500 business suit. Yeah. Although that would they should go like wink point tip shoes, but yeah, you got to show like you know. You got to be quirky as a lesbian. Dude, can you believe what Chappelle said? I mean. I'm with the Netflix walkout. Oh, for sure. I support them. I was there. You were there? I was there being like, yo, let's get him. Oh, you were the provocateur. You were the Ray Epps? I was there reading you FBI. You were the Roy Epps? I was reading FBI crime statistics. Is it Ray or Roy Epps? Ray Epps. You were the Ray Epps of the Netflix walkout. Big time. You were there on January Oh 5th. my God, girls. We're going to walk Hey, girls. Out. Come on, ladies, let's get them. Yeah. Yo, did you see that girl's... Uh, we're covering... We're just... This is basically gut felt. <laughs> we're covering all the hot topics. True. There's uh, a lot of hot topics right now. There dude. are hot topics. The we Libs have been taking an L. Dude, uh, it's it's coming out that the pandemic was probably created in a lab. I Also, I should... You know, nothing to do with the Eco Health Alliance, though. So. Peter Daszak. What? Isn't it clear that it was from a fucking lab? Yeah, but you don't know. Oh, dude, we didn't even look at the fucking categories, dude. Alec Baldwin blasted a lady. Dude, I'm not I'm not gleeful about that. I'm not either. People, <laughs> people have been sending me the craziest <laughs> shit on that. People are so hyped just because he like made fun of the right. I know. That, dude, that, that's like, I saw that one. Good, I I'm glad he shot a lady. I couldn't get on board with that. Yeah, I wasn't delighted over that, although it did make me kind of chuckle. I mean, the, the thing in it, it's... Mainly because I heard that that woman said some racial... racial she had some racial tweets. What'd she have? Once she died, I, I did a deep dive into her tweets to decide whether or not I should be So it was happy. justified. Yes. Once I found out that she, I had seen what she had said, yes. Wait, so she was saying like weird shit? No. I'm just joking. Oh. She was just shot uh, accidentally. They gave her like, they gave somebody like, they gave him a real gun with bullets. It wasn't blanks? No, it was real bullets. What the fuck? They gave him a real gun. And he just was like, pop, <laughs> point blank? Yeah. Where'd he hit her in the chest? I'm not sure. Not good, though. That's Yikes. what I will say. That's terrible. It's really terrible. Yeah, I, I saw that, and I saw like I saw someone. Now, I'm not going to be one of those guys that's like, don't make fun of it. 
because it is just it's just a wacky thing. It's insane, dude. Yeah, I, w- I I'm with you. I was not gleeful. No, you're stuff but, that happens. Like puppy research, I saw that and I went, yes. Yes. Yeah, you liked it. Oh, I love anything. I, dude, and I'll just be honest. I just don't like Fauci for probably the yes. reasons of my algorithm. Also, he, you know, he probably also did kind of. He seems like he's been lying this whole time. Um, That's how I was with Penn State with the yeah. child, right? Yeah, exactly. I was, I was giddy. Yeah, exactly. This is a very <laughs> Penn Statey situation. It's dude. They're coming out now, being like, yeah, you know, Eco Health Alliance did. Do gain of functions research, but Fauci didn't know about. It. They're doing Fauci. Yeah. Joe didn't know, basically. Joe didn't know. And the Fauci's parent, just gonna have to dude, die of lung cancer in like a month. For, I'm gonna tear down the like, statue. I'm not going. I'm not gonna be part of this. <laughs> I'm done, dude. Shout out to Joe Pa for that. Apparently, the Eco Health Alliance tried to sell the virus to DARPA, which apparently is like people are like, yeah, no, they did try to do that, and DARPA was like. We're cool with this. Yeah, we don't want this fucking. We don't want to use this by as a bioweapon. They're like, all right. Well, I don't know anything that's going on. I don't think it's impossible does. to understand. I'm just going all from Rogan podcast, dude. It's time to listen. He's been to Rogan. the king. Rogan's still the rock, dude. <sighs> I went back to. I was listening to Rogan last night. I was listening to Sanjay Gupta. Did you see that? Yeah. And I mean, I I had seen it. I'd seen clips and I'd heard clips, but then I listened to the whole thing. Dude. Did you see the boy right before he had on before Gupta? No. Who was oh, it? This other guy. He was. He used to work for the New York Times, and he got kicked off for just looking into the COVID stuff. Oh, dude's a man. Really? He's a good boy. I don't like any of those journos. No, he's a good boy. Even the good boys. They're journos. journos are with substacks are usually good boys. You get kicked off, you get a substack. He was a substack. <laughs> Some people have substacks. They're pretty bad. <laughs> that are bad journos. Really? That are my least favorite journos. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you get a substack, dude, that's just. Yeah, I hear you, though. That's like having a Patreon. True. You but, could be an elite baller. But yeah, I was, if you watch those two back to back, dude, I watched those two and. uh my mother-in-law called me to get some scoop. She's like, Matt, I got to know. Like, how do you feel about this? She's pissed. I haven't got the jab yet. Allegedly. Really? Yeah. So she called me be like, I want to, you know, like what, why dude, I was like six hours of just interviews deep. And I was just like, well, yeah, felt pretty good. Yeah. Felt good. Felt good. I'm not, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not slamming the lady. She's, she watched a lot of CNN. So I was able to hit like, did you hear about this? I was this? listening to Sa- Sanjay this? Gupta and he had some decent points. I don't think, I don't think the pro vax people are totally wrong. No, it's for geezers. It's a, it's a gene therapy that geezers can go get if they want that young people probably, you know, if they want to get it, they can, and they shouldn't be forced. Yeah. I just stand with Kyrie Irving, bro. That's all. Kyrie rules. I'm a big basketball you see Floyd guy. Mayweather came out support yeah, Kyrie? Yeah, dude. dude so happening. did, so did Chris Brown. All the bros, dude. All the bros, dude. Oh, that's, it's not good, dude. Those are two dudes that have smacked their bitch up. Yeah, this is true. Yes. They did. But yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of the bros are coming out. And, uh, and defending. Yeah, man. Yeah, Kyrie gets a lot of shit. Although he did believe the earth was flat for a minute. Okay, could happen to anyone. <laughs> could happen to anyone. <laughs> yeah. We're all an unpre- Dude, we, we've all have like completely lost like a big sliver of sanity due to like the... <laughs> Due to the fucking uh yeah, know, I watched a, I watched uh fucking Can't Get You Out of My Head Again on YouTube. Yeah. That final episode just destroys me. Yeah. I still don't know what it's about. I do But it's the algorithm, dude. It's dude fully, I'm back to that. It's fully the algorithm. Yes. We need to stop worrying about the algorithm. Gardini, what the fuck are you doing? All right. Yeah, we dude, we got sucked into like just military grade information technology out of nowhere. Facebook, dude. Facebook's. I, I think Facebook's fake imploding. What do you think they're gonna change their name to? You see that? Yeah, I heard they're gonna change yeah, their name. Doing a little revamp. It's like a strip club where they get like a shooting in the strip club, and they're like, now we're Club Wizards <laughs> yeah. instead of Atlanta. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. Instead of club Bullets. Yeah. <laughs> you want to, to use that analogy? But yeah, the um, I think Facebook. I have a theory about Facebook. I think they are. I think they had were interfering with the CIA's ability to destabilize the democracy, like the things of their choosing. So now they're painting them as like, no, they're harmful to other democracies. Because mm. before, dude, it must fuck them up. Mm. Imagine, think, think of how bad they were. They had, they could have with like regular cable news, they could have came and like like slammed us. But now like all the Facebooks, all the Instagrams, yeah. pe- they, like it really gets information out there that people don't want. So I think right now they're saying like, dude, you read the things about Facebook? Just like Facebook will come to Congress and they're like. People used uh, Facebook to do a bombing. What do you guys got to say for yourselves? And they're like, um, we're really sorry about this. <laughs> we're looking into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they keep getting crushed. Yeah, so, like, why? They used it to like abduct women in Yemen. And they're That'd like, be like being mad at <clears throat> phones. Yeah. 
being like, hey, the you know the Boston bombers used a, a telephone to think, set off an IED or something like that. True. And be like, this is AT and T's fault. Yeah, well, I, well, like, I think no, it's well, not. So now there's well, they're saying though that the government wants to regulate Facebook to make it like a phone, so they'd have full control over it. So I think the government is kind of like, yo, this. Yeah, is- I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I'm not. I'm yeah, a little I, torn on it. I, I purely, I use pure conjecture. Because when Twitter banned Trump dog, maybe it is time we break up big tech here. <laughs> yeah, true. You're gonna silence my dog. We gotta go to the truth platform. Yeah, Trump's I mean, got his own thing. I've been going. getting a lot of texts about the truth platform. <laughs> yeah, you going on? Do you get this? No, I get political texts. Do you really? Yeah, I don't get them. It's like Shane. How do you feel about joining? the truth dot org or whatever dude truth platform would be sick but apparently people are saying that you can't make fun of the platform on the truth platform yeah this was urgent we need your response will you join trump's social media platform yes or no tap in dude tap in with the boy (laughs) yo tap in with the boy dude dude question trump social media after months all caps months of being silenced, all caps silence, by big tech giants like Mark Zuckerberg and Jack Dorsey. President Trump is taking matters into his own hands so he can freely speak directly to the American people. We asked you before, but now... <laughs> and then we asked you before, but now that it's official, we need to know. Will you join Trump's social media? <laughs> That's crazy. Dude. That's crazy. That's going to be so tight. With that Trump social just, media? Trump social media is going to be so... Those things never work that well. No, it's not going to work. They, none of them work. Yeah. Like Rumble, Bumble. They don't... Whatever they're called, they don't work that well. Yeah, yeah. Every time uh, they come out, it's parlor. just... Parlor. Yeah. Parlor, I think, was literally just for the Capitol. Capitol riot. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that was literally all that that was used for. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they come out for They're like, this reason. is going to be the new Twitter. And then everyone was like, January 6th. <laughs> that was it. Shut it down. Flash mob. I always liked flash mobs before, you know. Before everyone stormed the Capitol, dude. They fucking really. I just, my, I just look, dude. When I walk past, like, government buildings, I, there's just such a sense of awe and respect for them. Yes. Like, when I walk past, like, the Harrisburg Capitol or, like. Watch what you say about that. <laughs> I what do have do? respect what would for you that. Do? If I saw you, what would you do if I walked in there? I would and they're say, like, "Sir, sir, you can't." I was like, "I would Rrr. literally say, oh, somebody open fire." I'd say, "He's got a gun." <laughs> I would, I would say, "This motherfucker's got a gun." Somebody say, shoot say him. I just, just like, just climb the fence. I didn't do anything. I just climbed the fence. Say, help! That guy just raped my kid. <laughs> <laughs> you just shoot me. Somebody stop! You just yes. shoot me if I walked. If in I there. could shoot you, I would. If I saw you trying to fucking trespass on the Keystone Capitol. <laughs> <laughs> that beautiful green dome. If I just ran you in, you got into the rotunda, right past the metal detector. And I was like, ah, <laughs> ah. You would be taken down. I'm here to pick up my realtor license from 14 years ago. <laughs> Give it back. Reinstate me. The market's fucking hot. Ah. Is the market hot right now? Market's hot as hell, dude. In Philadelphia. Oh I gotta yeah. Get, true. I, you know, I was a realtor. Well, yeah, I remember you cried. I cried a couple times. Yeah, the <laughs> listings didn't go my way. It was a tough period of my life. Yeah, that's basically Navy SEAL training. I went out to my... I had a Ford... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would have definitely become a Navy SEAL. Cried dude, being dude, a realtor. All that passion, dude. Cried, during, cried being a realtor. It's because I was... I should have been climbing a fucking wall on a rope, dude. <laughs> so what the fuck am I doing with my life, dude? Selling these bullshit houses. Yes. I'd come out. They'd be like, oh, we're going to go with someone else. And I would just go out in my Ford Contour 5-speed. You'd be like... <laughs> It's fucking uh, so fucking hard. It's so hard working. I, dude, as soon as people were like, yeah, they, like I think we'll go with you. I'd go out and spend like a fifteen hundred dollars on my credit card and be like, money. And like, yeah, we're going with someone else. And I'm like, fuck. Oh my god. Shit. <laughs> I beat that credit card, dude. Beat it ass, dude. Dude, you can fully, Guardian. You're 24, right? You can fully charge charge up a credit card right now, dude. Fuck up a bag. Yeah. There's nothing they can do to you. Are you sure? Yes. He's I lived it. I lived it, dude. I don't know. I did it when I was 21. They don't, after seven years, it just resets and my credit's as good as ever. Never and paid also, those here's what I did. dime, bro. I never paid anybody because I figured I'm going to make a lot of money doing stand up. And if I don't, Fuck I'll just him. kill myself. There you go. So you can just run up a tab and then be like, look, if things don't work out and I don't have enough money to pay you guys back, I will just kill myself. <laughs> tell them, tell your debtors right now, big guys. Say, look, I'm going to pay you back in 15 years or I'll, I'm going to run well, into gonna the capital. You guys support me. I'm going to <laughs> go into the Harrisburg Capitol and <laughs> get executed. I don't pay the cop. I gotta, you got to run in there. Call Citibank tonight and be like, guys. I'm Wells Fargo. If, if you guys keep pressuring me, I might kill myself. And you know, suicide. I bet that would work. Yeah, dude. 
If you like, I'm recording this call. Be like, if things are really hard with the pandemic. I might fucking kill myself. Yeah. A lot of people have been killing themselves. Really? Who's killing themselves? I think a lot of people, dude. I think I haven't been able to find good stats on suicides, but I'd assume they've been going up. I'm pretty sure they have. Yeah, been. probably. They typically go up with drug overdoses as well. Mm. You know, people are OD and people are typically fucking also icing. Yeah, I don't mind it. We got to get there. I don't I'm not well, worried about those themselves? numbers. About people icing themselves? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. It's bad, but. It's not at the top of your list. No. Well, we got to protect. Yeah, I mean, I, I do hear you on that. I mean, compared to people occupying government buildings. I most would say suicides, times, yeah, most suicides, it's always like, if ah. people jumped off the Capitol, I, then I'm concerned. Then I'm like, yo, whoa, whoa, we yeah, got to fucking yeah, yeah, handle yeah, yeah, local yeah. jurisdiction here. Yes. You guys I, are impeding the walkway. Most suicides, it's always like, oh man, it was over a girl. Yeah. Or like something where you're just like, oh dude, give it a week. Yeah, true. You would have been all right. But sometimes like, I'm I'm like Larry Bird. Where he Tough was enough. like, where he, like his dad killed himself, and he was like, he did what he had to do. <laughs> True, <laughs> I'm I'm devastated. I lost the fucking yeah. I got bigger. Pistons. I got bigger fish. Yeah, he's like, I got the fucking Detroit Pistons story about. <laughs> like your dad killed himself. He's like, well, he did what he had to do. I understand. <laughs> I never recovered from losing to Magic Johnson. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. That was it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, dude. I uh, yeah. Again, I'm I'm with you. I'm more interested in kind of local politics. Yes. Than uh, you know, people taking their lives. Taking their own lives. Yeah. I hear what you're saying though. I'm I'm a big individualist, and you know it's like, yeah, I don't like it for people to be like, oh, politics are making me upset. It's like, dude, yeah, don't fucking kill yourself over that. Shit. Definitely don't kill yourself over yeah, that. Don't do that. We need you, dude. We need you in this fight. We're we going. Need we're going back in there. We're going back. Don't kill yourself, JK. brother. Don't kill yourself, brother. I'll be at the Harrisburg Capitol. Now next I can't week. get. Now I got. Now I have, dude. I have permanent gut felt. <laughs> Let me see. This is how I am normally. <laughs> Dude, you're not Gutfeld. I'm the next Gutfeld, dude. I'm a mix between fat bitch Stelter and Gutfeld. <laughs> Fuck. Stelfeld. I am Greg Stelfeld, dude. <laughs> More like Greg Gut Filled. <laughs> uh-huh. Come on now. That's pretty good. You getting ready for that roast? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing Luis Gomez's roast at Skankfest. I'm just forcing Gardini to write roast jokes. Oh, fuck. I tried to think about roast jokes. For, yeah. it, it ruined my day. I don't want to do anything with roasts. Just be nice to them. I was thinking about killing them with kindness, but I know the second one of them says one mean thing about me. Spaz. <laughs> dude, you know, this, pop, put the tennis shoes someone's on be like oh Shane it's good to see like a fat retard could make it I'll be like <laughs> <laughs> hit him with a smile just oh, I'll be, yeah I'll be full <laughs> fucking stelter smile out there <laughs> I'm gonna, I might lose my mind up there I don't you think should, I'm I can't do a roast you should lose your mind I can't do you a roast you should thrash the whole set like, fuck you guys you should yeah. just walk off like, I honestly, guys, be like, I've grown a lot these last couple of years, and I'm just kind of... I'm I also considered this, so. not showing up. That could also be very funny. That'd be very funny. Just not do it. Oh, that'd be hilarious. But then I won't be able to defend myself from all the mean things everybody's going to say about me. Wait in the wings. True. And then just come storm up like... And then see if they don't say anything because I'm not there. And then be like, actually, I'm on it. I'll go last. <laughs> <laughs> Get the final word. I don't want to say mean things about these guys. They're all my friends. Yeah, I know. I don't know what this is. Don't say anything mean. And every time they say something, look at this. Dude, you should I'm just, just mind fuck. You should MK Ultra them the whole time. Just go up and be like, yeah, these guys are real silly. And when they say anything to you, just be like, what the fuck? Dude? <laughs> yeah, why would you say you that? You should pull me? people aside the whole time. Like, what are you dude, are you mad? I'm going to text them while they're up there. Uh, like, are you fucking mad at me? <laughs> yeah, you should, mind, you should mind fuck them the whole time. Perhaps I will. Dude, go up there and be like, this guy, man, he's a crazy guy. I love him. But like, you yeah. know, you know, he smokes a lot of pot and, you know, like roast Gomez. But like, you know, he's like a smokes a lot of pot and does like jujitsu thing. I don't know, man. It's all pretty funny to me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't just even, nice guy can't the even whole think time. of a mean thing to say about him. It's mean. Just nice guy. The whole time. Oh, I've considered it. It's like, he, like the whole pot and jujitsu thing. He's crazy, man. Something, he's like such a businessman. too. So really original. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> podcasting, pot and jujitsu. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a real original type of guy. I can't think of one other famous podcaster that's into any of that stuff. No, see, I'm already. And so what happened was when I thought about the roast, yeah. I literally spent a full day. You got defensive. Saying the meanest things I could about every one of my friends. Yeah, it's mean. They don't it's like crazy. It. It's a bad feeling. 
I was mad. I was mad at them. I was your like, story. Your story. I was literally moves. walking around like fucking Joe List wants to talk shit. <laughs> like yeah. it's just because we're on the same roast. <laughs> your story nukes right now. Yeah, but they're not funny. They're just you're like, like North Korea. You're developing. I am. You're like North, I am very North Korean. <laughs> you're developing a nuclear program. Yeah, that's just. <laughs> It's not going to work. They're going like five feet in. Yeah. The- <laughs> I'm just going to be like, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not good at roasts. I don't like them. I think they're foolish. It'd be fun if we were roasting, you know, someone famous. Yeah. So we're just, this is punching down. True. There you go. We're roasting Lewis. That's the whole time. Just don't. I don't pun- like punching down, dude. Just I'm not going to roast down. any of you. Just don't punch down. That's the biggest roast of all time. Yeah. I'm above all this now. Now they're going to get the... Fu- they're watching the tapes, dude. They're going to see what you're they're up to. They're not going to watch this crap. True. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on? Oh, Louie and you got married. Those two things. Two big things, dude. Yeah. Two big developments. Now, we got to talk about what's going on in this country. But yeah, dude. We dude, did have no, to cover the news. We need to cover the news. Now that we cover the news, we can get into social life stuff. True. We, uh... Yeah, I got married. Um, it's fantastic, <laughs> dude. It's fun. Yeah. It so happy time. it's over, dude. I mean, it's I not... I, I was trying to, like, everyone the whole time was like... But it's probably best night of your life, and it's like, uh, yeah, I saw you stressing out, like <sighs> grabbing bags of ice and shit, dude. You were the caterer. I ran the whole fucking show. <laughs> we we just rented a venue. My mom the whole time, dude. That was the thing that killed me the most. My mom's like, you don't want to do it yourself. Let other people do it. I'm like, mom, it's easy, dude. It's just a fucking party for 278 people. Big number. That was a big number. You did have a big wedding, dude. I, wouldn't have, I, I expect nothing less from you, though. You go big. I go big. Bro. You're real humble, but behind the scenes, you're a big shot. Go big. Whoa, dude. You're a big shot kingpin drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I do have the Tony Montana. Gene, you're a dude. bit of a Tony Montana. That's why I, that's the like, envelope. The envelope I gave you. Continue, like, <laughs> That's because I thought you were big time, big shot drug dealer kingpin. Instead, I just have a mountain of nugs on my desk, and I'm like <laughs> smelling them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, the terpenes! Are, oh, the terpenes! Yeah, you don't get shot in the back. It's just your wife comes down. It's like, what are you doing? You're like, uh. <laughs> why does it smell like pot in here? The babysitter's here, and I'm like, ah. Uh. So instead uh, of say hello to a little friend, I'm like, shut up! Stop fucking bothering me, dude. Ken, I liked you. Who was the preacher? Who was the my boy Bob? Your boy Bob. He has a very strong Philly accent. Oh, yeah. And it made me laugh. He's a good boy. He was up there. He was hand like, chosen, dude. He knew he'd be fantastic. Oh, he's great. He was, yeah. he did a wonderful job. It's just he has a funny accent. Oh, yeah. It, no one in the wedding, your side of the family, batted an eye. Yeah. But Nobody. me and everybody from Chicago was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yay. I now pronounce you guys man and woman. Dude, he's gonna be loving this. Yeah, he's a funny guy. I hung out with him after. He's great. He's the fucking man. He's, he's <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, dude. He's uh. What's up with this chocolate, dude? He's a very funny bro. There was a story he was gonna tell. I, I don't know. Why I didn't tell it. There was one time back in the day. Yeah, everybody got those. So, so people were getting jokes in up there, bro. There was one people time. Got silly up there. I hate being silly up there. I went to his apartment. <laughs> I went to his apartment one time. I used to bat way back in the day. I used to sell like I nugs. So one time, that was how. That's how I know him. That was, that was my preacher. Everyone thought he was a priest. He's like, I'm not a fucking priest. So I used to sell him nugs. And I, his his point was like a, like a strategic location for me. It was like halfway between Philly and, you know, the rest of the suburbs. And uh, one time I went in there and I was like, there was like a cop. It was like a, just like a dude in a car just sitting in his parking lot. So I just left like two pounds of weed in his apartment. I called him. I was like, yo, bro, I left something in your house. I'll be back later to get it. And he went back. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> and I was like, just relax, bro. I'll be back. There was a fucking Dodge Durango in the parking lot. I didn't know who it was. Uh, yeah, that's how you we... You could have got him killed, dude. Nah, dude. It wasn't like that. But then some guy... His could have been a no-knock warrant. Dude across the street. True. <laughs> Storing drugs at a guy's house would get him killed. True. <laughs> it was for like four hours. He'd be like, yay, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Shoot me. Oh, man. Uh, it's just pot. Go bird. <laughs> yeah, he'd have been in the middle of chill, like cheering for the Eagles. Like, bird. Blah. Oh, yay. The birds are all... Yeah, dude, the, uh, then some guy died across his hallway. How? I don't know. I was using his apartment all the time. And one oh, yeah. Dude, on all that damn pot you've been selling. No, he was heroin. The dude, was heroin. Fucking, the dude died. <laughs> the dude died, slumped, I think, against the door. That's so one way to go. I was like, yeah, I was like, the block's too hot, bro. I can't be, sto- I can't be. Mm. Yeah, man. But yeah, it was funny. He called me. He was like, what the fuck? It's it stunk, dude. The whole apartment. I used to reek that building out so nice, hard. Nice, dude. What do you get the fucking Wagwan man? I was a Wagwan man. The big time. I, dude, I've been a fucking island boy. Bro. I've been an island you boy. You have been an island boy. Been an island boy. I was more of a rude boy than a shata. I wasn't a yeah, shata. Yeah, yeah, You were not a shata. No, I wasn't top shata. Top shata, dude. Pull out them I've teams. always been a bit of a boss man. Boss man, top shata. <laughs> I was a rude boy. 
Top shotas pull out them things, bro. Yeah, Gardini is more of a shotta. You a quiet shotta. No, I'm a I'm a dirty boy. You a dirty boy? <laughs> yeah. Like what? What do you do? Just that's dirty. dirty. I just get down and dirty with it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, a, you're a dirty boy. I'm a dirty boy. What are the type of dirty things you've been doing boy. lately? Um, have you has your penis cleared up a little? You've been penis oh, yeah. slowed oh, down. Yeah, last last time I was here, you were that. beating your penis so hard you had a wound. Giving it rug burn. You giving your penis a noogie. Yeah, now it's okay. <laughs> the thing said, "Uncle, then fucking let it go." <laughs> it's okay. It's healed. How horny are you right now at this moment? I'm not very horny, but I did rub one out before you you picked me up. How soon before? A little afternoon not too, delight. It, no, it was a morning treat. Mm. Really? Yeah. What were you uh, What were you watching on? Just pornography. Wait, like what specifically? I was watching. Answer in ten seconds or escape point. <laughs> You're lying, dude. Answer it. I was watching a busty, mature natural. Really? And a little humper. You guys know I And a little, little humper. humper. Oh, wow. So you're in the matures. Yes. You're Ro- you're like Roman. Who's Roman? From uh, Succession. Uh, I don't know Succession. It's a good show. You'd like it. Very good show. You might be a little Romulus, dude. Yeah, a bit you're of a really Romulus. Like <laughs> yeah, I'm a dusty boy. I'm a little humper. So you like the matures? Yes. What's his name so. in that show is Abe McCusker. Which the one? oldest brother. <laughs> the oldest brother is 100 it's funny uh i think billy one of you guys was talking about like which character each guy was yeah you're all the oldest brother I know. you're all like i think i'm running for president <laughs> everyone's like dude just stay the fuck out of the way <laughs> like, well that's a, that's a that's a crazy thing to say the most powerful man in the world right now <laughs> yeah every time he looks like tom too a little bit yeah he looks like a mixture of tom and kevin yes yeah, that dude is hilarious. Yeah. We all had a big thing of who was who. and Yeah, yeah was, I remember that. And then I was like, you guys are all just the oldest brother. I know. Everyone would get Kendall week to week. Like, oh, you're fucking Kendall. Who's Billy? Billy's not in that show. Billy's Romulus, dude. True. He is a bit of a... Billy's fucking Romulus. Billy's like Loki, dude. He's a real trickster. Billy is Loki, dude. Yeah, he might be the trickster. He's a trickster guy. You're a Thor. Sure. You're a Thor. That. I can see that. I appreciate yeah. you saying With your that. hair, you're Thor. Billy's that. Loki. Appreciate you saying that. Tom and Kevin are just the oldest brother from Succession. <laughs> um, no, I'm the sister. I'm true. The, I'm the girl. I'm that girl. You're the girl? Definitely. Dude. Yeah, I can, can see tell. that. Yeah, I can yes. see that. I can see that. Shiv? Shiv, yeah. What a show, huh? Dude, that show is fantastic. Bro. That's my favorite show. How, how else? What else happened at your wedding? Um, What happened? I Yeah, so I, I came back from taking pictures and... Uh, Dude, I, I just like set the whole thing up. The four I spent four days, dude. I, I rented a U-Haul, mm. picked up like thousands of dollars of alcohol, dropped yes. it all off. It was pretty intense. I I will say, dude, I developed a serious affinity for U-Hauls. Like I want to buy one, just just to carry stuff, just to drive, dude. That U-Haul is fresh as hell. Yeah, those are cool. Get that fucking U-Haul. We drip. could set up a studio in the back of one of those U-Hauls. That'd dude, be pretty tight. I'm telling you, man. If I'm in a, if I'm driving a twelve passenger van, I'm like, it makes me pretty happy. Really? Just rattling around in that thing. Mm-hmm. Brought me back to my beer distributor days. When I loaded, I, dude, I went to, first of all, I, I don't want to be on record. You should blur out my face for this. Went to Total Wines in Delaware. Loaded up the alcohol. Oh, you went uh, out of state? Al Capone, bro. Allegedly. Allegedly, bro. Real bootlegger. Bootlegger man, dude. Yeah, dotty boy. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is 18% tax. That's why I'm going to storm the fucking Pennsylvania capital. 18% cash. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that in today's... Oh, we're not allowed to make jokes on podcasts in today, today's police state. Yeah, right. I'm not going to go in. I'm going to storm the outside. You can storm. I can storm the outside. You're just going to storm it. I'm going to run up and go and just stop like a vampire at the door. You should dress like Storm from X Men. I might and go to the Capitol. Silver Surfer, like, dude. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like, charge. Like, nah, <laughs> gotcha. Run up. No, just kidding. Yeah, I'm going to protest the 18. percent You should start sucker charge. punching cops. Nah, dude. Fucking blue lives. <laughs> That's blue lives, dude. Yeah, true. I might sucker hug them from behind. Like, I'm just kidding. Thank you. That's I'm going to grab their gun and hug them. I'm like, oh, I'm just kidding. Thank you for your service. <laughs> fucking kill me right now, dude. Yeah. Oh, you won't fucking kill me. I wish you would fucking kill me. I'm going to suicide by cop at the Capitol. One lady did. Yes, she did. She pulled it off. Why her? Why did they shoot her? I don't know, but I watch that video sometimes and it, it's funny. It fires you up. It, no, it's it's funny. To get the lady fucking. The lady that gets shot by the guy. Did she get caught, shot in the gut? Somewhere up top. Right in the tummy, dude. <laughs> just a guy from like me to you is like. <laughs> Pop. Black. It's, it's, it's just a wacky time. I don't think it's a good thing. Of I course. Think, I don't like any. Of course. You know, state murder, which is 
That was what that was. It's mass psychosis. Um, Dude, oh, so... Like, all right, so let's talk about the wedding. So, Dude, I mean, stop talking true, about the true. goddamn Capitol. Ever since I saw Ray Epps, I've been <laughs> fired up. True. So I'm, I'm in the U-Haul. I got the case of beards. Take me back to the fucking days where I was a beer delivery man. Mm. Where I was a delivery <laughs> man. So I'm driving. Dude, I forgot I used to... Dude, so I would drive the beard uh, delivery van. I passed the uh, art museum. Dude, I forgot what a secret fucking Bruce I was. I'm, I have like secret Bruce Springsteen vibes that I, I used to do this all the time. Like when I, I drove the beer van one time, like I was cutting through the art museum and I remember being in college, going into the art museum to deliver beer and all my classmates were in this like art class looking at like paintings. I, I would like, I remember it took such a perverse pleasure and like going through and being like, yeah, I'm just over here trying to make it ends meet. Yeah. What are you guys doing over here? I'm at my job right now. Yeah. I used to love that, dude. I know that, dude. I used to fucking of love. Of course, you love that, dude. I didn't realize how like seriously I like I, dude. Yes, I remember it's like I, your favorite thing. I saw a girl there and it's was like, easily oh, your favorite thing, dude. I'm I, just a humble worker. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing was handed to me. I, yeah. <laughs> I course. remember seeing a girl and just being totally delighted to. Like, she's like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "I gotta get this beer down to the center. Uh, just delivering things. Delivering this beer. What are you guys looking at? Oh Some, man, don't, I don't, don't understand this stuff. Don't take you. Don't take this for granted, honey. You gotta learn. <laughs> hey." guys stay in school on <laughs> oh it must be nice to study things like this it's beautiful painting where do i get this miller light to or you could do the old fucking uh <laughs> fucking uh goodwill hunting you'd be like oh caravaggio beautiful painter anyway, i have to i have to get back to delivering this these stuff. koreans gonna beat the shit out of me honey these goddamn koreans on my this dick better not shut yeah dude I, <laughs> dude then one time i was coming home from work i was in like one of those full like head to toe jumpsuits, mm. and I it's saw a good feeling wearing those. You know what's so you know what good, hurt man. my feelings when I worked in a factory. I wore a big jumpsuit like that. Yeah, and all the guys called me Charlie Weiss. <laughs> Why they called you a Charlie? Big Weiss? fat guy. <laughs> that's fucked up. Now they knew I liked Notre Dame, and they were all dumb Penn State white trash. Uh, that stinks. And a guy called me Charlie Weiss while I was wearing one of those jumpsuits. Dude, I saw one of the. Uh, <laughs> that's mean of them. Yeah, it stuck with me. I was I was coming home in one of those like snowman suits and uh, i was covered in just soot and i saw some comedians at one time and i took a break from comedy like oh what's up matt and i was like hey guys uh, i wish i could be doing a comedy with you guys but you know gotta make ends meet i feel like waking up in the middle of the night and i got so many thoughts in my head hey. yeah just bruce and you, you are bruce you're secret well, bruce. bruce and dude i'm surprised you didn't did you park the car to show them you were in the jumpsuit while they were no dude I, I just happened upon them although i dude i wouldn't put that past myself yeah, yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah. shit those hey guys oh. How's comedy going? It must be nice to have a dream. Man. <laughs> I'm on the other side of town working for my dad. Yeah. Dude, I was just, I was laughing in the car. I'm like, dude, I said Bruce so hard. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Gotta go to work. You love the Bruce, dude. I work for an electrician twice a week. It is a nice feeling. Brucing on someone is nice. Dude, Bruce and fucking Bruce is nice. Being that was, like, dude. Yeah. Art museum with a dolly, like a jack of like just Tommy and lights. O'Connor Bruce me constantly. It's the best. Like, man, what are you playing video games? We were just at the gym, man. It was so hard. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, little girl. Yeah. I'd love to have sex with that girl, but I'm fucking working the night shift. <laughs> <laughs> it was just me talking to myself for an hour in a big van. That's pretty funny. Pretty fun. Yay, little girls, Christmas time. And this is like the first day I'm not hungover since your wedding. Oh. I was devastated, dude. Yeah, I had a like uh, planning hang- I I took had an hangover. Adderall. I took an Adderall. True. And full then, disclosure. Then it was Mr. Cool. Then it was drink time. <laughs> Do you go full Guffel when you take the Adderall? <laughs> right, you're taking Adderall at weddings? Is this guy an asshole? I figured you were going to have to. You flew overnight true i had a show with louis ck man i wish i could have been at the <laughs> rehearsal but i was on tour with louis <laughs> i was on tour with my idol and the greatest comedian of all time louis ck boy he still got it his new hour oh my god my fango. it's ridiculous bro that's madone that's oh madone. it's oh maron is it madone it is m-a-d-o-n but, but they say maron. Maron. maron maron that's that's they used to see 16 year olds that's where the saying comes from. Really? In old Italy, back in the day, in like the 16, 1700s, you'd find the hottest chick and you'd make her sing religious songs and everyone would be like, uh, Madonna, be Madonna. 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 They all go from their guts and go, I'm going to fuck yeah. that girl singing Ave Maria. You would see, dude, that was the prima donna. That's what a prima donna is. Yeah, Madonna. Yeah. Sings, you get like, you find the hottest chick and you're like, on eagle's wings, go and you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna. That you know, would get me going, dude. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Especially if I was just working, I was in the olive fields. 
<laughs> and then the beautiful Maria comes over and sings to me. Yeah, now it's just fucking what's his name? That was the Godfather. <laughs> the beautiful girl, she sings. That's where Bruce came from, dude. Yeah. I so I was on tour with Louie, dude. Yeah. I wish I, I'm sorry I missed your rehearsal. I was just on tour, dude. It happens, bro. And then I had to fly across country that night. Red eye. Yeah. Straight Red to eye. the wedding. Damn. Direct. Dude. Did you take half a Xanax and pass out? No, I was offered a Xanax. Really? Not by Louie. Of course. Somebody else. Offered and I Xanax. said, I can't do that. Such a bad idea. Yeah, because I had to literally go to your wedding. Yeah, did you ever take a Xanax and wake up the next morning? No. It's a weird feeling. I don't like taking drugs. I took, a, I took one Xanax once. I did take one Xanax once. I was slanging bars, dude. Someone, I was young, though. I was a young man. I was young, too. Yeah, so it didn't do much to me. I didn't The like next it. day... I just fell asleep and woke up and was like kind of stumbling. I'm like, damn, that bar had me fucked up. <laughs> was when I looked down at the toys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's an all timer. That's a great joke. Making toys have gay. <laughs> Making toys have sex is the all timer. <laughs> it is a very funny joke. Uh, so anyway, but the tour was tight. Yeah, dude. It was the coolest it's shit ever. Boy. First night was in San Diego. Walk out on stage and it's a theater, so it was it was quite intimidating. Mm-hmm. But then after that, I was good. You're after the Vegas, first night, too. I was good. First one was San Diego. Went out with some troops. Hung out with some troops nice. afterwards. Shout out to those boys. I won't name them. <laughs> Obviously. Can't give up their names. True. For national classified. security purposes. Yeah, it's classified, bro. But uh, it was a good hang. That's awesome. It's funny to hang out with the troops. Yeah. Once you find out they're just boys. It's yeah. literally like going out with 10 Gardinis <laughs> that are all just jacked. And they're like, yo, let's fucking go. Uh. Really? Yeah, Think their boys. birds have carpet burn on them? No, I don't think they do it. These that boys guy. aren't no, fapping. No, yeah. no, no, no. They're, holding, no, they're no, warriors, no. bro. They're no, these are true warriors. They're not going to master. You can learn a thing. They're bro. not their fucking parents' house beating their dick till it's red. <laughs> 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 they're out serving our country. They're not at home whacking off and fishing. <laughs> you better thank them. Thank the troops. Yo, thank the troops thank right you. now for let. Say for, thank you for doing what they do, so you can sit around and whack yeah, off. Thank and you fish. for sharing your yep. country, so I can whack off and, and make fish. fucking silly videos online. Make silly videos with your older pals, two old fucking weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel so weird when I, I see your parents. I, I called your dad, Mister G. You saw him too. Oh, dude, I was. I, no, that was my wedding time. plan. Mr. M? That was going to be my speech at your wedding. I was going to be like, Mr. and Mrs. M. <laughs> Dude, you should have. You should have just said that. I panicked on the wedding stopped. speech. You did good. I was happy with the speech. You did very good. Thank you. The wedding was lit. I wish I could have been more lit. I was so tired, dude. Yes. From basically planning and executing. Yes. Dude, I like- No, the five. wedding was lit, dude. That was the one good- It was fun. I, I did- Everyone had fun. I was, you know, I'm not going to lie. I was very excited to just go home and lay down. I was. I, I was shattered, dude. At 6 p.m., it did feel good, dude, wearing a three-piece suit and like walking up to people and be like, "Why isn't there ice?" I started bossing. I was oh, bossing people hard. See, that looked good on you. I had a bit of a tight suit. I was walking around in a fat vest, a vest <laughs> that the buttons were hanging on for dear life, dude. You can't give orders when you're wearing no, a yeah, fat you can. vest. That's no. like a railroad tycoon. Yeah, but the, theirs is well fitted. Mine looked. I literally, while I was getting, I was so angry when I was getting dressed. You just got off the plane. Yeah. Picked up that fucking, put on the suit that was, yeah. I was totally not fitted at all. Yeah. And uh, while I was getting dressed, I was looking in the mirror. I was like, I literally look like a retarded guy. It, your suit looked fine. Going as James Bond for Halloween. That's your what I was dressed as. fine, dude. The jacket was snug. That's the only problem. jacket was extremely snug. You should have got a um, corset. You, you could have got a corset and just fucking. A cummerbund? <laughs> I should have got a cummerbund. You should have got a cummerbund, yeah. Just tightened up. Well, anyway, I didn't let it bother me. I took an Adderall and I blacked out. Yeah, there you go. And I was up until 3.30 in the morning. Really? It was a wild time. With Big Bill. Big Me and Big Billy got a little silly. And I yeah. didn't know he was up to other things. Exactly. You he, thought he had was, some mushies. You thought he was drinking. So I saw Billy. Billy was on wobbly legs, dude. Billy won that night. That was Billy's night, Billy, to be honest. Complete victory for Bill. Billy won. Bill was on wobbly legs. And I thought, here's a good chance to scare Bill straight and get him out of drinking for good. Because he's yep. been partying lately, and yeah, I don't like been, that. Dude, he's a party boy. So I saw him on wobbly legs, and I was like, dude, he's one or two shots away from a blackout. So I said, Bill, you and me, dude, I love you so much. Let's do some shots. <laughs> I bullied him into like four shots. He took him. But he was on mushrooms. He wasn't drunk. Yep. At f- that's what I saw the wobbly legs. Yep. I was drunk, but I didn't know it because the Adderall. You sank yourself. I was obliterated you thought he had water in his boat i thought i thought he did and i i it was a trap 
He did. He was master and commander. You ever see when they put the wrong flag up and I approached? And then he, <laughs> and then he put the real flag up and I was like, oh, uh, fuck. Chocolate bleu. <laughs> and then I, I uh, went to Helium and humiliated myself in front of the new GM. Did you really? What happened? I was just blacked out. You're in a suit, Just like a dumb fool. You look good. I looked like a goddamn fool. No way, dude. And then uh, I have no idea how I got back to my hotel. Really? I walked back or I have no idea you how I remembered what room I was in. I don't know how I got there. I must, probably, have, you probably I must have asked for help. Led. It was a phone led operation. Mm. That was a fucking one eight hundred babe. That was a one eight hundred babe. <laughs> no, according to her, that there was no really? communications. She in headquarters. I just walked in. Oh, walked in and got after it. That's what's up. Really? Well, I'm not going to say anything. No, you don't have to. Almost, you're healed up. I'm not much of a kiss and tell type you're guy. You're healed but. up. <laughs> <laughs> So you're all healed up. Oh, I've been I've been healed up, guys. Huh? My penis is fine. Good. Speaking of James Bond, yeah, I saw James Bond. Who? The new movie. There's a new James Bond. Black guy. No. Oh, the last. The new 007 is an African American woman, or African British woman. Really? Well, yes. there's a last James Bond. This James Bond just came out. That is, he. he spoiler alert: He does pass away. He dies? Yes. Finally. Yeah, it's about fucking time. Who gets him? Uh, his own ships. Does the screen go red and everything? Yeah. Well, definitely spoiler alert. I definitely... Whatever. I gave away the whole movie. But I will say this. If you watch that movie and you enjoy it, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> so, uh, spoiler alert Did on it, that. It was that bad? I was fuming the whole movie. Dang. Dude, there's one part where a bad guy... The new 007 is a black lady. Mm-hmm. Fine. Totally fine. Yeah. I didn't even notice, to be honest. Totally fine with me. <laughs> Damn, so they skipped Idris Elba and gave it to a lady? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if she's the next one. She is the actual new 007. So James Bond retired, and they gave the 007 title to a new agent sure. who happens to be an African-American woman. Mm -hmm. Kick-ass super spy African-American woman. Yeah, right. And uh, yeah, obviously. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, I, if no anything, diggity, I'm more... No doubt. I like, don't even notice, but I feel like I'm like more excited, too, than anything. Like, yeah, I was I don't stoked, even dude. I couldn't even... I was so Did you excited. Scream? When I found out, uh, yes, Woo! when she exposed that she was 007, I was like, <laughs> in the theater. I, yes, I was with my woman. She heard me go, oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. It's about time. It's about time. Fuck it. Finally, it's about time. Fuck it, finally. I remember being a young boy watching. I was playing Goldeneye, 007 yeah. on N64, and I was like, I wish this was a fucking black lady. I was playing with this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there's a part where 007, the new African-American mm -hmm. 007 woman, what? Are you farting? <laughs> dude, we're talking about Black 007 and you're farting? I'm excited, dude. My fucking gastrointestinal tract is like, oh, oh, fuck. Get out everything. I need to take this There's all There's a guy. So the whole thing's about a biological weapon. Really? Yeah. And uh, What kind? I don't know. But there's it, it gets into your DNA. It fucks your DNA up. And you can... It kills like people you're related to. So this guy is bragging to Black 007 lady... Uh, I could exterminate your entire race if I wanted to. And she goes, it's time to die. And then kicks him into a bunch of acid. <coughs> Wait, and, so they're trying And to I was just sitting there just like, God fucking damn it, dude. Even in 007, a guy's like, I'd like to exterminate your race. So I was like, Wait, uh, yeah, odd job was trying to kill black people? Yeah, one of the guys was trying to kill black people. Well, he I don't even think he was. I think he just tossed it in there to be like, hey, just so you know. Dun -dun -dun. I could do that. And she said, not today. Kicked him into a thing With like high heels Was she wearing heels Yeah it was all cool I was very upset But one thing that did cheer me up Was there was a Gigantic fat guy That used a scooter To come in and watch And nice. uh Fantastic I liked He was in my line Of sight Yeah So I saw James Bond Which is basically A cologne commercial For two and a half hours Really It's literally a perfume It's just a gorgeous dude Driving cool cars With Daniel Craig right Yeah it, It's just It's crap Yeah it's fucking crap. I was never big on James Bond. I dude. was never either. I loved the video game. The video game. Golden I mean, that's just you with your boys. Elite. Yeah, that game yes. fucking rule. I'm talking about the movies. I've never like, never cared for them. I, I no. like, I'm pumped on Dune. I want to see Dune. I hope it's I good. I saw Dune. You saw Dune? I saw Dune. Was it good? Uh, Don't spoil. Here's what I'll say. I won't spoil it. I promise you. Sure. I promise you, dude. You told me you want to see it. I won't spoil it. Uh, I saw Dune, but I watched it in... On the tour bus with Louie. Yeah, it was probably initial release or and was it early release. It was early release. We got Dane. We got early. And uh, 
they all didn't like it and criticized it the entire time. And I had to sit there and be like, yeah, this does suck. <laughs> did you see the original? Did they <laughs> see the original? It. Yes. So they like, they're more of a David Lynch guys. Louis tried to argue that the original was better. And then we t- turned on the original and it's a load of shit. <laughs> You're not a big David Lynch fan. As soon as we started watching, I was like, this is dog shit. Just so you know. The other one was at least looked cool. Really? Dune looks cool. You got to see Dean. I'm going to see Dean. I'm, gonna, I'm yeah. reading the book. Really? I heard the book, the book stinks I heard to read. No, I heard it's awesome. I heard it's very difficult to read. It, I mean, it's a little difficult. Are you listening or reading? Reading. Yeah, I heard it stinks. That's pretty good. You like it so far? I've only read a little bit of it, but I like yeah. it. It's all about like a dude sitting there and tapping into his consciousness. That was the first mm. book I read after I did the five grams of mushrooms. I like sat in a bathtub and was like, oh, I think I made a mistake. I feel weird. And I cracked open Dune. It was like, you must center your awareness. I was like, fuck yeah, dude. I'm back online. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. this shit rules. True. Yeah, you're going to like Dune a lot. Yeah, it's pretty sick. You are going to like Dune. The Iraqis. Yeah. Yeah. I will say that watching a gigantic fat guy in a motorized scooter watch James Bond drive like a beautiful sports car around like the cliffs of Italy. (laughs) You think he was hugging the ramp on the way out? Yeah, he was like, just 90 degree turns. I don't know if it made me sad or happy. What, a gigantic fat guy? Just watching Daniel Craig and supermodels fuck in front of just a fat guy that's like, Anytime he'd lean over, the whole cart would like shift. He was getting candy and stuff. Yikes. He was fucking crushing candy. He had a basket of yeah. candy. At that point, you just gotta see what you know, see where it takes you. Yeah, there gotta be something pretty liberating in being that fat. It's yeah. always weird when people fat max too. I've seen people who eat like they should be four hundred pounds, but their body's just mm. like, nah, buck stops here, buddy. Yeah, we're just gonna form tumors. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> we're out of fat. We're just, <laughs> we're just gonna make tumors now. Yeah, you're gonna be like an old black lab here in no time, <laughs> just covered in fucking tumors. You, isn't that fun when you go to someone's house and they have a dog just covered lumped. in, just lumped out, lumped up, dude? Oh my god. Yeah, you see like, the dog just put him down, dude. I was petting some guy's dog the other day. I saw a tumor and I, was, I regretfully was like, yeah, like I saw it yeah. coming out of the bottom. I was like, oh fuck, man. Had like a, like a devil horn, had like a single devil horn out of its yeah, head. Yeah, dogs like some, get fucking tumored up. They get crushed. You got to let them go. Well, they're eating like, imagine if you just ate cereal your whole life. I went on a solid run. Did you? <laughs> yeah, fucking K through 12. <laughs> I was, I was true. a cereal mom. That's true, that's true. I loved cereal. Yeah, man, it's so fun. And weird. then no, in, by the time I went to high, I switched, my whole life was cereal, mm-hmm. almost exclusively cereal, and then I switched to chicken wings, and I've been eating them since. Damn. Around 11th grade, I switched to chicken wings. Just the wings. So I went from cereal my whole life, and now I'm on a chicken wing phase. So you were just crushing. You were crushing. There was nice. Crushing like 30 wings at Hooters when you were 17. Yeah. That was fucking. I did that recently with that, that phone call we had with that lady. Oh, about, you, were at, you were at Hooters? At, about business. Yeah, handle them, I was at a Hooters by an airport. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> and I had just eaten like. I actually counted. I had 17 of those breaded wings. Really? I felt. Awful. Yeah, dude. I ate 30 when I was I thought in high I could eat wings. I, I was just counting wings. They're not wings. They're not regular wings. No, they're, they're breaded. breaded, bro. And I was destroyed. I ate 30 when in like the prime of being able to eat shitty stuff, and yeah. I felt sick. Like, I remember being like, that wasn't a good idea. No, that was a bad idea. Yeah, that I don't like Hooters up. breaded wings. I don't. I like those. They're good. Wings. A little bit of them are good. I like the naked wings, bro. Your grandma loves Hooters wings? Yeah, we go to Hooters every mother's What's day. your grandma say about the alpha, the attire? But, oh, the scantily clad women? Yeah, the, the, no, she she doesn't even know. She's just there for the food. Honestly, she care about yeah, the me neither. I don't know. True. By today's standards, Hooters waitresses' outfits are no longer True. that slutty. That's why they try to they try to. Is that uh, crazy? Yeah, they try to spice them up, and now girls are like, "What? I'm not wearing this." It's, that's what they wear all day. Yeah. Walk nothing. out. Walk outside. You're gonna see a thousand Hooters girls. They've all become dirty sluts. It's nothing, bro. That, dude, if, just taking like a your average just porn ad old young man. Gardini's age. Gardini, they're, they're how probably, addicted nice. are you? Addicted? I'm not addicted. If you go to if you go to Hooters, are you going to if you go to Hooters? Are you like, why do these girls have vaginas? What do you mean? You a guy like purpose? you addicted to porn? Oh no, I'm not. Addicted the fact that these girls don't have penises, you're probably like, what the fuck? No, Boring. Not <laughs> you're not projecting here <laughs> at all. <laughs> not into that, bro. Not into that. The phallic mother. Not in. Yeah, I transcended it fully. You you watch? Do you watch T Born? No, but I did want to confess to you guys. I did not watch Mature Naturals. Before. I knew you fucking did it. I masturbated to a lady that I know that works at Hooters and has an Instagram account. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, she's like really pretty, and she does dances in her Hooters uniform. And I've been watching her content a lot lately. 
<laughs> mature Naturals is such Whenever someone says that I'm like no you did it Yeah, yeah nobody so watches stocking. Mature Naturals Well you were cu- accusing me of gay I had to get out of it But I was just I, That I was just to fire you up That's Sean really I support good. whatever you watch I'm like Little Nas X's dad basically <laughs> I support you In whatever journey you take Actually if you were to become gay Sean would be very good for us So True Think about that I'm a homosexual <laughs> The uh I am homosexual I am a homosexual I am homosexual Dude you would blow up dude yeah, I'm gonna do it Dude do, do you take everyone by storm about to blow. <laughs> so you whacked off to a lady's Instagram this morning? Yes. And Is that a crime? It's worse. I it's not a crime, but Instagram masturbating because I think everybody does it, but it's frowned upon to admit. No one does that. Shane, you. Know I don't that. whack off to Instagrams. Nah, man. I don't. Dude, I, fucking I never... porn a click away. Yeah, me neither. I mean, it's fair. I know someone who. I'm not. I'll be honest. I'm not going to lie to you. Instagrams have jarred one loose and fired me up. Exactly. And then that brings me to Pornhub. I know someone. Yeah. Who I don't used to, stay on the fucking Instagram. I think. Oh, you, you yeah, horny you go devil! Back and forth. You try to find a lady that looks like the Instagram. dude. So I know someone who used to double window. They would go Who's this Facebook person? profile. I can't announce them. They yeah. would go. Are their initials MM? No, not me. It's not me at all. <laughs> yeah. I, I was never into like the real life. Like I didn't. Yeah, it feels violating to whack I, off to somebody's social media. I was. I had bigger fish yeah, to fry pornographically. Serious. I was in. I was in the deeper waters. Yeah, you were out with the teeth. Yeah, I was in the tea. You were even deep in the teeth. Dude, teats. I'm telling you, I don't know what happened. I just, and I'm, I'm saying this. I, I have no face to save on the issue. I just, I'm not into it. T porn. Yeah, dude, yeah, of course. It was a phase. It was like David Welcome. Bowie. It was like Welcome David to Bowie. the Brotherhood. You're officially straight. Yeah, bro. But I feel like you have to no, you at don't. least test no, the waters to know. Otherwise, don't. You don't. You, until you go head on, I, f- I went head on. I did test My the waters. My problem, I was- I tested the waters when you told me about it. And I got a toe in and I said, that's it's too hot. Yeah, well, the problem is, here's the thing. I'm, I'm fucking hot blooded. I'm a heterosexual male. I see long hair and tits in my body. It's not even me. My body's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, true. And then true, you're like, there's oh, a penis. And you go, and you see a couple oh, clavicles, yeah, like, oh, some Adam's cares? apples, and a guy, when he's coming, going, <laughs> with long hair. All of a sudden, he looks like a Hulkamaniac. <laughs> the wig turns around. It looks yeah. like the animal from Muppets. Yeah, it's no good. Yeah, I don't know what it was, man. I, I think it was. I think my, my psyche was searching for completeness. That's why it was more of like a collective unconscious thing where it was like I was tapping into this intelligence outside of myself. Yeah, I needed like to integrate. Or you so just I got, kind of whacking off the kind of gay stuff. I got it, maybe, <laughs> but the fact that I'm not into it That's anymore. That's one way to put it. Sure. The fact, that, I mean, you could, you could put it that I, way. I'm like, would. dude, I'm like little Nas X, dude. It's like you're, 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 you know, you're hitting me with a, uh, you're boozy badass, dude. I'm a bit of a boozy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I think there's no. Way, I'm Jack Harlow, dude. I call Jack Harlow. I think there's true. You and me basically are little Nas X and Jack, Jack Harlow. Harlow. I would, dude. Yes. I would definitely agree to it. I think there's way more dudes. I think it's a silent epidemic, and I don't think this is a projection. A silent epidemic of dudes whacking the T porn. I think it's way more, and I think the data of web searches reflects this. A lot of bros out there just fucking and it, dude. I support you. You're, you're trying to reach psychological wholeness, dude. But I got to tell you. It's not the move. That might be how I get to Nirvana. It's not the move. It's a red pill moment because if you want to fully pursue it, you got to adopt like a ladies of Thailand li- lifestyle, dude. Where it's you, your son. The All you got to do is go. Sexy. Yeah, you're the girls are sexy. <laughs> All you got to do is go like Damn, yellow and white socks. Dude, Come on, I bro. Even realize this. Tan, dude. These are my hospital socks. Why are you wearing two different socks? Because that's all I had. You are a little Nas X. You're a bit of a fashionista, uh, dude. Of course, bro. <laughs> you're pretty cool. I'm gonna suck the devil's dick, dude. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm going to suck the devil's dick and my dad's going to have my back. Whoa. My dad would not have my back if I sucked the devil's dick. Yeah, that's what you don't want to do. That's literally if, when you have a son. You know the Chris Rock bit about keeping your daughter off the pole? Yeah. As a father with a son, you got to make sure your son never sucks. The devil's he dick. He never ends up on national television <laughs> sucking the devil's dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you're kind of like, yeah, maybe I fucked up a little. No, that's, that's what you are, Boosie, dude. Boosie badass. So I think Little Nas X was like, "I'm gonna do a song with Boosie," and Boosie, I think, said something Boosie like, was like, "Hell no, nah, I ain't <laughs> fucking with no fucking fruitcake, motherfucker." <laughs> I think he said like, "Kill yourself." He's like, "Kill yourself," and then Boost, and then Little Nas X's dad came out and was like, "We're the real Bankhead. We're the winners. We're the champions. Hip hop has passed you, Boosie." Like basically, like fuck you. Whoa. Came out and like crushed Boosie, and Boosie came out and said, "I'd be mad as hell too if my son came out like that." <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with one of those, dude, and he, it's that's where it stands. The beef stands mm. there. Who are you cheering for? You cheering for Lil Nas X? Uh, I, don't know. I mean, dude, I wanted. I almost had her song. Brittany almost had her song. Uh, the, one of the Lil Nas X's, like, 
Uh, and I thought that song, I, I dude, she was yelling at me because I, I, I literally you. thought the lyrics were, ever uh, since I've been gay, yeah, uh, it's been gan. Ever since I began. I thought it was ever since I've been gay, yeah. Uh, so I was singing that all the time. She's like, there's not the lyrics. Uh, so Industry Baby. Industry Baby, that's what it's called. Now, the, here's what I want to show you about this yeah. because this gets me a lot. I listen to this song. Mm -hmm. I like this song. It's on my cool playlist gets that you I pumped listen up. to. But the art for it, that they play on the background of Spotify. Just him eating out Hitler's fuck butt. you up if you're in public Let and you say. start listening to this song. Whoa. <laughs> That's the video? It's just this on repeat. So just you'll take your phone guys? out while you're listening to this. <laughs> on the, like, the subway or something. Like, <laughs> Jesus. Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you think, do you think that should be on like primetime TV? Just gay dudes, African naked American naked. men dancing in a shower. Any men? I didn't notice. Were Buttocks? they black? Were they black? I didn't even notice. Oh, they were colored, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. That's the question you got to ask. Yes. Just having, just like you turn on Fox and Friends, and it's just like, oh, let's. You're just trying through. to have a nice day, and you're trying to watch the Five before dinner, <laughs> and all of a sudden you got a bunch of guys ass naked in a prison shower. <laughs> Did you guys ever see the story of the like the Dr. Umar Johnson guys complaining because Jack Harlow's the only white guy and he gets Yo, I'm with Dr. Umar Johnson on that. I was furious. Umar Johnson bro. rules. If you're I don't know if it was him specifically, but you know, black and I think I think Little Nas X was being a bit white supremacist with that video if I'm on it. That's my favorite new thing, calling mm. black guys white supremacists. That's what they hit Chappelle with. Uh, white white yeah, privilege. They said dude. he was using his white privilege. He was. What? He was. <laughs> I think he was. Yeah, dude, that was uh CNN fucking gives me the willies, dude. Do they really? Scares, that's spooky stuff what they're up well, to. Well, here's the thing, dude. When I see when I see black men going against the mainstream media narrative, my instinct is to be like, Stop being white, you black bitch, and agree with me. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, what they yeah. that's what they do. If that's a white how I guy feel. dares to go off the thing, Kyrie Irving. If a white guy dares to go away from like big corporate agenda. I justifiably say, you fucking white piece of shit. Yes. You're not black anymore. That's what they do. Yeah. They strip you of being black. They try to align you I with- I mean, literally the president said that. Yeah. If you don't vote for me, you're not black. Uh, dude, it's pretty crazy. It really makes you think when you watch this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I saw- We were joking about the Capitol stuff. We're not going to storm anything. No, I'm not. I'm, and I'm neither of us are Republicans. No. I hate Donald Trump. But I am a homosexual. Um, we're just gay as hell. Dude, I hate Trump. <laughs> if he comes back, dude, it's going to be just Trump like... Trump dog comes back. We're going to be in Groundhog's Day forever until Joe Biden and Trump die. That's what we're in, dude. I told you I watched Can't Get You Out of My Head Again. Every fucking day we're in just everyone's outraged. Not that you need a documentary to notice. Everyone's outraged every yeah. day, but none of it's real. No. No one cares. None of it is. No one, none of it's real. That's what Chappelle was saying. He's like, dude, no yeah. gay, none of my gay friends are pissed. Yeah, it's just corporate interest. This is, this is the fact, I think, isn't there something like Twitter has like millions of bots? There's a bunch of fake people just like probably being paid to, there's people go, here's the narrative we want to push. Here's the means to accomplish it. And they, you can, if you have enough money, dude, you can literally, you know, like Warren Buffett can sway the stock market. If you have enough money, you can enter points of discourse and opinions and give them like a say. And, you know, I think what was the Stanley Milligram experiment with the obedience? 73% of people. What was it? I was thinking about 73% of people raised the electric shock to a near fatal oh, yeah, level yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, an yeah. expert was telling them to. Yes. So that's, you know, that's an experiment, but you could say easily. Conservatively, I heard the Stanford prison experiment was a bit of a bit of a fraud. Oh, it was crazy! It was bull. It was crazy. Yeah, I heard they BS'd it. But the Milgram experiment, I wasn't think, wasn't it an old Dago that did that one? Most likely. I mean, that's that's a Dago fantasy. Be like I'm the boss, you guys get in your. I think room. the Stanford. God damn, industry baby's still up. <laughs> Last thing I want to do is get horny. <laughs> Be honest. When Lil you Nas saw X Montero, when you saw Montero, and like the ways he moved his butt, where you're like tricked into thinking it was a girl for a second. Lil Nas X is cute. He's a cutie. He's I mean, a cutie, and I like his music, and I think he's funny, and it's sucking the devil's dick something fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have kids, so I don't care what these fuckers do. I mean, dude, I don't think it'll if, if I had a baby girl or a baby boy, and I turn on TV and some goddamn. I don't think it'll affect your daughter. I don't. I mean, your son. Here's the thing, too, and I will say this, and maybe this is a wrong take, but the trans community, if anything, have made it so awesome to have a gay son. Before, like, my son better not be gay. The now trans it's like, community? yeah, now it's like, trans as long as you're not transing. 
That's not the. Oh, oh, I now see it's like saying. a gay son is like, pfft, oh, whatever. This is yeah. Oh, all right. I like now that it's take. like just don't fucking don't trans, don't trans. Please don't fucking trans. I mean, it, you know, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but it'd be like <sighs> that'd be a tough. Like if my kid trans, I genuinely would be like. <sighs> I'd horse lips. Yes. I'd be like, so we got to go get horm. You really want fucking hormones? You're 12. You don't know anything. But if they're like, you I'm better be free. If my son was like, dad, I'm gay. I'd be like, oh, thank fucking God. Thank yeah. fucking God. I'm a gay man. I'd be like, no, no. That's great. You're not having boobs. I'd be like, no. I'd be like, And it's not like, dude, I wouldn't hate them. I would just be like, everyone's going to make fun of me. Everyone's going to bust my balls. For what? Trans kids. I don't hate them, but it's a, it'd be a headache, bro. It'd be a fucking headache. I'm being honest. I'd be, I'd be fucking, I'd be fucking beleaguered, dude. If I, if I was like a dad, I think I'm a dude. I'd be like, oh, hat, let's go. And then he has, and you couldn't be like, hey, dude, I think you're getting caught up by the algorithm. Yeah, you got to tell them they're getting caught up by the algorithm. Did I ever tell you? Uh, my you have to break the news. I wouldn't be pissed. There's nothing wrong with that. No, it's like a nothing goth. Nothing you said was wrong. It's a goth. Tra- trans are the new goth. Same thing, dude. It if, absolutely I, if, is. if your kid was a goth in like 1997, you're like. <sighs> I mean, Trans it was are bad. Absolutely the, goth. the fact that people kick their kids out onto the street, it's a bad thing. Yeah. You got my kid's a goth, he's out. You got to go through the trans journey. If I, I would have just, a goth child, they're out. Out. The goth childs? <laughs> <laughs> I would just trans. At the ultimate kryptonite is be like, dude, that's crazy. I'm trans too. Let's go. Mm, yeah, it's cool. It's like, fuck yeah, dude. Did you know I was a woman once? Now look at me. Hulking dick. <laughs> this is entirely made of thigh. Although Caitlyn Jenner might ruin it. There's a lot of powerful conservative trans is coming out all you have to do is be like if, if you want your kids yeah you can just be like being trans rules and your kid will be like i'm straight as fuck dude True. go up to the room and just watch Baywatch. <laughs> like i'm the straightest guy ever i'm gonna jerk off to a janet jackson music video yes. oh, that's as straight as you can get yeah again i you know i, I don't uh i can't see hating your kid but i i would be like no, dude, you gotta be like you gotta be like Laundry's parents, Brian Laundry's parents. With Laundry, like, never giving up the ship, dude. This is a, we're with this boy till the end, for sure. I don't care if he strangled a girl in a van. Oh, like, they're st- they're like oh they 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 yeah they found his belongings. Shit, I think they realized he had he had since moved on to the next realm. Did any of you get tricked by the dog, the bounty hunter? Yes. Get tricked by him. How so? There was a thing that went around that was like, Dog the Bounty Hunter captures whatever the guy's oh, name no, was. I did not get and it was just lemonparty.org. Nice. There's another one. It was just the dude sitting off the edge of the bed. Mm. I actually like, no. went with my lady to a state park recently. That's awesome. Two days ago. That's fun. And while we were on the way there, I was like, You better not fucking like fall or go missing. <gasps> Don't ruin this for me. Because. I have a lot of hours of me being like, yo, Brian Laundry's the fucking best. <laughs> <laughs> like footage You're keeping of me. Her off the edge. Yeah, I was like, don't you dare get hurt. You better not even roll yeah. an ankle. And don't piss me off to the point where I and fucking... Please don't make me strangle you out in the woods. Kill. Is that what he's stra- he strangulation? I don't know. I don't know exactly. Probably. That's that's probably got to be... That's a good van. Or just a rock. That's van life, bro. A little David and Goliath action from far away. <laughs> <laughs> I should be like, oh, I think there's a gem in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, was it? Oh, it is crystal. <laughs> <laughs> right in her eye. Yeah, that's, that's not good. That's not good at all. But yeah, they. Uh, I think the parents stayed with him for a minute. I think they were like, dude, we got you. He probably. I cover. I would cover it up to be honest. For what, your kid. Here's the thing. What if? What if the parents genuinely didn't like the girl? What if you didn't like the girl? Like, I don't think she's the one for you. And oh, you're no, like, we gotta switch over to the yeah. Page. Switch to Patreon. I'm kidding, Guys, dude. That, that's everything we did. said don't today was girlfriend. a big gag. Don't kill your girlfriend. This has been a wild episode. We, we this is not good stuff. You think we this hasn't been in too hindsight? Bad. This is not good stuff. What have we said? Besides, I might just protest at the Harrisburg Capitol, not go inside, <laughs> but just run into the. I, I'll storm where I legally can in protest. <laughs> There'll be no pictures of me on the desk. Oh, dude, how cool is this? What? I finally have a... Uh, dude, I've been waiting forever for this. You want to do it on this episode? Yeah, Oh, dude. shit. We should start yeah. announcing something. Oh, yeah. You have dude. dates. Yeah, I have dates, bro. Oh, I'll be at the... Fuck? This. Starting tomorrow. So when this episode's out, the 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st of October, I'll be at the Milwaukee Improv. November 5th and... Oh, that's Skankfest. 4th, 5th, and 6th, and 7th. Skankfest South. Yeah. November 11th, 12th, 13th. It's already sold out, but uh, American Comedy Company, San Diego. Then we're taking it. We're going to do cool stuff. God damn, dude. Yeah, I'm doing one show a month. 
Turtle I'm Tortuga, dude. Turtle Pace. Good night rally, December third and Good fourth, night bro. rally. Baby room. Why does everybody from Philly call it rally? Rally. UMBs are, but it's Raleigh. It's Raleigh. Raleigh. Raleigh, December third and fourth. Helium St. Louis. Jan- I haven't locked those in. You, you're locking in the heliums. Oh, helium. You're a helium I'm, I'm a helium you're baby. You're an industry room. baby. Helium baby rooms. I'm doing the little baby rooms, dude. Fifty seaters. I'm like, can't believe we sold it out. You're just zoom in on all the people. And they you're don't gonna sell the those out, and you're gonna sell more than the headliners, which will be tight. That'll be fun. And you're gonna have to say, I told you long that ago. Ever long since long I've been ago, gay, uh, I got what they waiting for. <laughs> I can't wait for you to fucking go around and headline those. That'll be fun, man. Yeah. Just four little. You it's know, gonna be tight. Humble tour, dude. It is a humble tour. Who who are you gonna have open for you? Probably the kid. Sid the kid. Probably good. The kid, yeah. Good. That'll be a good run. That'd be very fun. Um. Oh. So yeah, you heard it here. Oh. We should just put uh, we can put our dates on the website. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to do dates. I just felt cool. Being no, able no, to no, do it. no. I mean, like, so people can go find your oh, dates. Oh yeah, duh. That's so stupid. Yeah, we can put them on the Matt and Shane Secret Podcast dot com or whatever the fuck it is. MS, For sure. Whatever. Fuck it. No, you're absolutely right, dude. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, we can put our dates up there. Um, nice. So yeah, if you if you hear this to uh, this weekend, come to Milwaukee Improv. Yeah, dude. It's just it's um just fucking. You get sometimes you have to read dates. It's not a and, big deal. Yeah, true. I never do. I don't like doing it. I know you never do it. I never do it. Dude, I was so happy. I was like, yes, dude. (laughs) Uh, Oh, yeah. You checked me out. I haven't locked that in yet. Yeah, we're going to think about locking that in. Um, (laughs) Go over to the Patreon to hear the rest of it. I have some cool Louis C.K. stories that are going to be on Patreon. Yeah, and I'm going to. You're going to want to hear. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to. And Matt's going to give us play by play his wedding night and what went down in the bedroom over on Patreon. And in all positions. I told him to note positions that were taken. Big time, dude. Here's my there's give you a teaser. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a little dad joke to close this thing out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Shane. Yeah. All right. Thank you for listening to our podcast. You guys rule.